Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe. I put out videos every Wednesday, so don't miss out on those. Today's video, I'm talking about 10 brands that I look for or kind of like thinking about when I go to the thrift store. I don't normally grab my attention when I am sourcing. I'm at consignment stores, at buy sell trade stores, or online. So these items are going to be more comps around like 35 to 50. So looking at more of a 20 to 35, $40 profit, which is still super good. Um, I even pay up for items that sometimes have that profit. So if you can keep your cost of goods low, then it's even better to turn over that profit. Profit. This video is super important and can be super helpful if you are trying to start paying up for items um, that turn a higher profit but still need to keep your cost of goods low or just really enjoy thrifting and want to find items that sell well there. Having these items in can be really good to keep your cash flow going. There are items since they are priced lower and if you're still finding items and styles or selling well, um, they'll be able to turn over a quicker profit while you're waiting for your other items to sell. This is also good to keep some lower price points in your closet if people are looking to bundle or if people are shopping at lower price points and they come across this item that you have posted that they really like and jump to your closet and then all of a sudden are looking at some higher price points that they either are really interested in or may like for later and purchase down the road. So these brands I really don't have on my mind when I'm shopping at consignment store, buy, sell, trade store. I'm really looking for them at prices probably under $10. I know thrift stores can vary so much in pricing based off state. So if you're in somewhere that's more expensive like California or New York, you may just have to make sure you look up comps a little bit more and make sure you are at a thrift store that has a little bit of these lower pricings. It's important to say about these brands that style and condition really, really matters. Don't just go sourcing at the thrift store and be looking for the brand tags of these items and just like pulling them into your cart because I'm talking about them now. It's super important to look up the styles and be sure that they are going to sell but not overly saturated or anything like that. So that is the biggest disclaimer. Please, please, please do your research on the item and on the style to make sure it is an item that is worth picking up and selling in your closet. Another disclaimer is that these brands aren't like super common at a thrift store. You may have never come across them before at a thrift store or maybe only a couple times. That's the same way for me too. I'm not saying they're super abundant in any sort of way. These are just some brands in particular since I have changed my business model to more of a higher cost of goods, but sometimes I do like to add in some just quicker profit flips. These are the items that kind of come to my mind personally when I think about buying at a thrift store that are a little bit more common. So don't get upset if you feel like you never found any of these things or anything like that. Take that in mind while I go ahead and name them off. So here are the 10 brands. The first brand would be Zara. Zara has such cute clothes. I love shopping for them myself. But when it comes to picking up these items, really what I look for in a thrift store is probably more so dresses or any super out there tops with any unique patterns or things like that. Skip over all of the basics or things that are just not in good condition. So a lot of the things I have sold in the past have been floral, wrap dresses, midi dresses, maxi dresses, or even sweaters, things like that. There's actually a big market for rare Zara items or items that are worn by bloggers. So you can search it up on Poshmark and do some research on items from Zara that are selling that way. Some of these items can sell for even like over a hundred or something like that. So even picking them up and selling things between like 35 and 50 is very reasonable for items that are just being trendy or in style at the moment. Even their jackets can do well. I think I have a like a suede green moto jacket in my closet right now and it has some decent activity. I have a price for around like $50. So definitely a good brand to be on the lookout for. Just there can be a lot of Zara, so you just kind of weave through and do your research. Now I don't have a piece on me right now, but Zara, you can find the style by searching their first to kind of like number categories in between the dashes on the care tag. So if you put that into Google, you can find the style name. Unfortunately, Zara will have a lot of like very basic style names like floral, wrap, mini dress. That's not super helpful, but you can also put it in your listing to help others find it. The next brand is 
J Crew, and there's tons of J Crew out there, but I actually really like selling it when I find it at a thrift store. I really, really love finding blazers or more current dresses, I would say, or just like in style dresses, none of that really old stuff. And also coats can do really well too. And the great thing about J Crew is that it's super easy to find the style of the item by searching the style code on it. Shit, I don't have any more. I'll pull it out. So this is where you can find the style. All you have to do is search in Google or on Poshmark if someone has it. This um, number right here, it's a style, then has the number. You can search that. You can also search how recent it is by looking at the number and letters underneath it. So this FA stands for fall and then the last two digits there are the year. So 2016, so this is kind of older, um, but this is a blazer, one of their more popular blazers that sell well. So I picked it up at a thrift store, so it wasn't too expensive. The profit's going to be a little bit less, but still a pretty good profit. The next brand that I will look for at a thrift store is, it's like twofold. It's so Aritzia's Wilfred or Babaton. This brand, I really like looking for blazers, jackets, dresses, things like that. I would say definitely more so blazers and jackets can do really well. Also sweaters, They're, it's worn by a lot of celebrities at times too. This brand has a lot of basics, so you want to avoid any like really basic like tees or tanks or things like that. But if you can't find anything, like their oversized blazers do super well. I have one listed at over $100 in my closet and I'd even pay up for that even, I think I did. Um, but this is something you can find more likely at a thrift store. With the sweaters, you have to be very weary of condition. They can have lap pilling sometimes at the thrift store. Make sure it's not too overly worn or else it may not sell as well. The next brand is kind of controversial. I feel like I've heard a lot of people say back and forth things on it and I even talked about it in my last video but the next brand is Free People. I still love selling Free People and there's a ton of Free People out there, but there's specific styles that I'll look for that tend to sell well. First, I would say jackets and tops and sweaters, like their oversized thermals and like their gauzy stuff does really well. So I'll always look for that in thrift stores or even like any really good dresses, newer dresses. I'll just bypass like all the basics. Really just depends on that item when it comes to free people. I can say that those type of items fairly sell between like 35 to 50. Be sure to check the style and on free people you can find that on the care tag at the very bottom it says OB and then has a number and just put in that OB and then the number in Google and it's really easy to find the style that way. The next brand is CP Shades. It's not as common at the thrift store. I've only found a couple times but I do feel like it's a brand that's starting to come a little bit more at the thrift store. It has a lot of well, it is mostly linen goods, like basics, but they actually sell really well. I find that the tops even sell better than the dresses. It is a basic, but it's one of those basics that I think a lot of people like, or it has a little bit more of like a cult following. The next brand that I'll look for at a thrift store is Everlane. Everlane, it's gone a little bit down since the last couple of months or past year. But if you find specific pieces, it can be still be really good to turn profit at thrift store prices. If you're looking for like jackets or sweaters or shoes, I find do the best out of them. I don't know if I really pick up too many more tops or jeans or anything like that. It really just depends on the comps. You have to be really particular, but there are a lot of lower comps on there. So you either have to be really confident in yourself selling Everlane or really be able to look at the numbers and be sure it's an item that is going to sell, turn a profit that you want. I had even paid up for Everlane most recently for this like half zip sweater, which was actually like more of a rare item selling for over a hundred. That is a case where you can pay up for it, but overall more items are coming to the thrift store that are worth adding to your cart. The next brand is One Teaspoon, which mainly just has jeans and shorts. They, I think they do have other tops and such, but it's not as good of an item to pick up. Their jeans and shorts, their denim is where the money is at. I'll usually pick up any, pretty much anything. They're more distressed items do really well. I'm actually model a pair of shorts in most of my pictures and I always get questions what shorts they are and they're the one teaspoon 
Bonita's shorts, I believe. So people are definitely liking the style of them. It's definitely not as common to come across. I don't come across it as much at a thrift store, but I would never really pay up for one teaspoon. But if I found it at a thrift store, I would definitely go ahead and grab it. The next brand I feel like is one that you should be able to come across. It's a lot more common, super common actually. And it actually has a really good comps. At least I have found it sells pretty well in my closet. I will say there are two things with this brand after I announce it that are very important for it. So the brand is Calvin Klein. And the two main things that I'll pick up at a thrift store with this brand is sheep dresses and coats, like more so like puffy jacket. With sheep dresses, there are two things with that. One, I found that this sizes four to eight sell the best. I've only really picked up those sizes, but they'll sell super quickly. And another thing is I feel like modeling them helps them sell so much more. So if you don't model your clothes or you're not able to, I'm not sure how well it, they will sell. But in terms of me modeling them, they always sell between like $35 and $50, like $40 probably average. And it's with those sizes, so sheep dresses kind of like a little bit stretchy conditions teach for them i feel like i've had to pass on so many things with like makeup stains which i guess you could get out but i don't really want to or like snagging is really common be sure to look for that for coats i remember i picked up a like this just like this oversized black jacket at the bins and i was going to send it to thread up but it didn't sell and I posted it on Poshmark and it sold for $70. So it's like just like this large oversized coat. It's something that people are searching for. And like I said, I feel like most of the time it's sold within two weeks. So I am always on the lookout for these two types of items within this brand. This brand has so many other clothing items. I don't pick up like the sweatshirts, the tops, the jeans, or whatever else they have. These are like the only two styles within that brand. The next brand I only pick up at the thrift store. I don't really pay up too much anymore because sadly it's going downhill in terms of its saturation and its comps and that is all saints i i like love this brand i used to go in the store and like be sad because it's too expensive for me unfortunately just not selling as well as it used to but there are some items that still are in demand i feel like the sweaters and bags are where more of the higher comps are at. Dresses can be as well too. It just depends on the dress. There are so many styles, so you really have to check up styles with this brand. But if I ever came across this brand at thrift store, I'd always pull it to look up the comps for it. I feel like I don't find it super much, but it is a little bit more common in the thrift stores and I don't really ever pay up for it online or in consignment stores or buy sell trade stores. The last brand, is a little twofold again because it's very specific and this is anthropology brands angel of the north and moth so i'm putting these brands together because anthropology has tons of brands that i'll pick up at the thrift store it really just depends on style but with these two brands their sweaters in particular are ones i'll usually always grab if it's a chunky oversized sweater cardigan and in good condition in order to look up comps if it's like a really thin sweater or like sheer, I will just pass on it. Any other like colorful prints or rare kind of sweater jackets are definitely worth looking up. More of those items I find are more the rare items that can even sell for over a hundred. And they may be a little bit more winter fall oriented, but I don't really source just based on season. So even if I came across it now, I would at that price to pick up to resell. There you have it, some brands to make sure you look for at the thrift store. If you ever come across them or have a great haul with any of these brands, be sure to tag me on my Instagram at Recloth Collection. Go ahead and give me a follow over there if you're not already. I try to post pretty consistently some tips and things like that. And again, be sure to subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss out on those weekly Wednesday videos and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and want me to post more content like this. See you next week. Thank you.